Hi, I'm Erin Sullivan, certified sommelier through the Court of Master Sommeliers, the general manager of Acne Fine Wines in St. Helena, Napa Valley, and a proud member of the Wine Sisterhood. So today I wanted to talk to you about wine labels and how they can help you know, improve or even maybe hinder your wine buying decisions. Most of us would agree that a cool, eye-catching label might be the main reason you'd select a bottle of wine you've never tried before. But along with the graphics, we can show you some important points on a wine label to help you find the best bottle for your palate. I'm sure that you've noticed that there is a difference in wine labels and it depends on where the wine is from. So typically old world wines, that is to say wines from countries like Germany or Italy or Spain, they're labeled according to where the grapes are grown or who may have grown them as opposed to the varietal of grape in the bottle. For example, this white wine from Bordeaux in France, it doesn't mention the varietal on the label. Hint, it's mainly Sauvignon Blanc. So for a little more information, you may want to read on your own or chat with your friendly local wine merchant. Fortunately for you, the consumer, you'll find that a lot of old world producers are starting to label their wines in the new world style, like this Altamon Cayo from Spain. It tells you right on the label, this is Garnacha. Still, most New World producers do list the grape varietal right on the label, like the Robert Oatley Tempranillo from Australia. It tells you what it is and where it's from. So you've decided on your varietal, and you're having Chardonnay for dinner tonight. But how do you know if the bottle that you picked off of the store shelf is going to be a creamy, oaky, buttery style Chardonnay, or a green apple, bright, crisp style Chardonnay? Well, there are a few clues that you may find on the back of a label of a wine like the Walter Hansel. Words like cask aged, barrel aged, or sur lis, that would imply that this wine has been aged in oak barrels, and that imparts a buttery, creamy, vanillin style to the wine. Conversely, if you're looking for a leaner style Chardonnay, keep an eye out for buzzwords like stainless steel, or in the case of the layer cake Chardonnay, they use the word virgin to let us know that this wine has not been touched by oak. What about sweetness? Unless a label expressly says that a wine is sweet or dry, it can be tough to know. In Germany, where they're known for making a wide array of beautifully sweet and dry wines, they label their wines as such. And in this case, the word cabinet tells you that there's just a touch of sweetness. It's a good one to look out for. Now about vintages. You may have noticed that wines like fine champagnes or reds like the middle sister, they don't have a vintage listed on the label. Well, what does that mean? It means that the winemaker is able to create a really consistent house style year after year. So how do you know if a wine is ready to drink? Well, most of the wines that you find at your local wine shop are really ready to open right when you bring them home. For example, these white wines are really at their best when they're enjoyed in their youth. They're so vibrant and fresh, and that's really what you're looking for in a beautiful bottle of white wine from California. For red wines, They've likely spent some time aging in the winery cellar before they made it to the wine shop. So again, this is ready for you to enjoy right when you bring it home. Thanks for paying such close attention today, everybody. You all get a gold star and a big glass of wine. Stay tuned for more Wine Chat TV episodes featuring me, Erin Sullivan, your personal sommelier.